Hello YouTube and Daily Ukulele members. I'm back and I'm ready to make some more videos. I'm going to be taking a look at the song Hound Dog today. Hound Dog's made famous, obviously by Elvis Presley. And uh, whenever anybody sees this ukulele, they always say, oh, that looks like something that would have been around in Elvis's time or something Elvis would have played. So um, this is the Fender Jazzmaster Fullerton series. I really love these. And a lot of people give it give give it a gripe because it has um it's laminate and that's fine i wish they would make a like professional series you know one that's a little bit more premium but mm -hmm. i love this ukulele uh you can plug it in and um it has a built-in tuner i love the feel of the neck mainly because i come from playing guitar first and i have a uh, jazz master of my own and it feels very similar the neck is very thick good for my huge fingers. Um, so for me, it's, it's perfect. So not for everybody, but I love it. It works great for me. All right, before we start this tutorial, if you wouldn't mind going ahead and hitting the subscribe and the like button for this video, that'll help me make more content and get you more songs that you can play along with. All right, so we're gonna walk through the Hound Dog song in the yellow book. This is on page 111. And uh, this is not in the original key of the song, but we're going to go through this first. Later in this video, I'll walk through how to do it in the original song and some really fun tips to make you better at ukulele and make it sound more convincing of the style that it was written in. Okay, so let's start first on our first pitch. That's what we're singing. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. So that's the vocal part that we have, right? The very first chord that I have you set up on is a G. You ain't nothing but a hound dog Crying all the time You ain't nothing but a hound dog Going to a C7 Crying all the time So speaking of hound dog, today I'll be featuring my own hound dog, Sam. Here's a little video of him. Hi Sam! Are you my hound dog? Little Sam's my hound dog. Say hi. Hello. And you may see him in this video. He's he's around this room and um, come here boy. Here's my hound dog. You can't see him because uh, this room is also black. But uh, he's my hound dog and we love him a lot. So we just made it through the first half of the song, and really, if you can play that and you can say the words in the bottom, you've got the song done. Okay, so let's start where we left off. It'll be, when they said you was high class. So that's the next step you can do to make this sound more convincing. If you listen to the original video of this, you're going to hear these triplets on the snare drum. And so you can do that pretty simply by down strumming and up strumming in a triplet rhythm. Triplet, 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 You can do that or you can do a triple strum. Definitely helps to have some uh, long fingernails to be able to pull that off. Okay, so let's do a full run of Hound Dog in this key, and then I'll go back and I'll show you how you can do this in the original key. Okay, so here we go. One, two, three, four, one. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. All the time. Well, 
All right, and so I ended with a G7 just to make it sound a little bit bluesier. All right, stay tuned for the original key tutorial next. All right, we're gonna spruce up this arrangement a little bit by putting it in the original key. The original key of this song is in C major. And what it does is, when you sing this, it, it actually increases the drama of the song. So I'll give you an example. The original key that they have in the book is G. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. It's fine. Okay, what happens if we go into C? You ain't nothing but a hound dog. See how it's a higher register? You ain't nothing. So I find this very similarly to the Beatles songs in this book. They always bring the song down to a lower key, but it makes the song more dull. So if you're able to sing this in the original key and kind of deliver the way that it's originally intended, I feel like you're gonna be carrying the drama of the song that it needs. I'll give an example, I'll just play for a second. You ain't nothing but a hound dog crying all the time. difference there's a there's a big difference there so it's not that it's even any harder to play in this key at all it just maybe it was less money for the copyright <laughs> to put it in another key which is totally possible I have no idea uh, don't quote me okay so let's turn this into a boogie and uh, so what I'm gonna do we're gonna change all the G chords to C's we're gonna change all the C7 chords to F7's and all of the D7 chords to G7s. So we're just moving up a fourth, essentially, to play this. Uh, first chord's gonna be a C chord. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Okay, and what I'm gonna do to make it sound like it's moving, I'm gonna bring my middle finger down on to the A note. And if you wanna do down and up strums, And then we've got the F uh, chord. I did say F7. You can make it an F first. And then bring your ring finger down to make that a D, which is kind of making it a temporary D minor. But you can also slide it to the F7 if you'd like. Okay. So, um, yeah, we've got that going. And the very last chord you're going to do is... Uh, I did say uh, G7. You can make it a G7. Or a G, doesn't matter. But on this string, I'm bringing down my pinky finger to get to uh, an E note. And then when I go down to the F next, So it's just a boogie. F. Back C. Here's the G. F. Alright, so here's it with it sliding to the sevenths. Okay, let's try. So be like. So I'm going to try to do that when I'm playing along with this, and um, let's give it a shot. I'm going to go pretty slow, and I'm going, to, I'm going to just play and sing exactly just what you heard right there, okay? So, all right, let's give it a go here. One, two, three. You ain't nothing but a hound.
an example of that. All right, so I hope you have fun with this. And uh, I want you to, as you go through this book, I want you to explore the original key and see how it's different and what effect it has on the song, maybe why they chose that key. All right. So hope you guys have an awesome day. It is a beautiful day here in Kentucky. It, right now, today is supposed to be 75 degrees. The sun is shining. And um, wherever you're at right now, if it's nice weather, hope you really enjoy your day. And uh, I look forward to making a lot more of these videos for you guys soon. It's been crazy uh, in a good way. <laughs> but um, we're, we're redoing our space, our studio space at home. Um, so I'm going to have a little bit more elbow room in our music room and I'm going to be painting the space, putting down a rug and, and helping the, the audio quality, uh, the sound of the space. So um, I hope you guys are doing well and I look forward to making more videos for you. Have a great day. Bye bye. Oh.